to show you just how dishonest the state broadcaster is when it comes to how they report on conservatives. We had another rebel rally for Alberta families to protest Rachel Notley's carbon tax in Calgary over the weekend, with the exception of a couple of NDP dirty tricksters and provocateurs that we had ejected by our security teams before the rally ever even began. The whole thing went off without a hitch. Over 1,000 Albertans filled a ballroom in downtown Calgary to capacity to speak truth to power to show Rachel Notley she doesn't have social license to tax away our jobs and our children's futures with her new carbon tax on everything. The whole thing was peaceful, it was family friendly, there were little kids there, and we laid down some ground rules beforehand, including a strict no profanity rule that everyone followed. And so you just know the lying left-wing media would do their best to lie about the whole event, the people who spoke at our rally, and worse yet, the people who came to listen. You're going to hear us debunking these lies about the rally as they predictably roll in over the coming days and weeks, but I already have seen a shameless lie from the CBC. Here's what their story on the rally looks like right now on their website. And this is the photo CBC is using of Wildrose MLA and Shadow Minister of Finance Derek Fildebrandt, who, by the way, gave a really amazing speech at our rally that you can catch in its entirety on our YouTube page because we live stream the whole event for everyone who just couldn't make it out to join us. Now, remember that photo. Keep it in mind because that version of the CBC coverage that I'm showing you right now, well, it isn't the first version of the story. The first version of the story looked way different. This is the photo they originally used of Derek Fildebrand. Looks like he's doing a Nazi salute because apparently all conservatives are Nazis to the CBC. Now this is a video clip of that moment, that moment that CBC took out of context to make Fildebrand look like a Nazi. Here. <laughs> Yeah, Fildebrandt was graciously waving to the crowd and thanking them, that Nazi. Now, why did CBC do this to Fildebrandt? Well, I'll show you why. In his speech at our rally, Fildebrandt called out the media and the elites for their bias and their treatment of everyday Albertans. Just watch. I am disgusted that the elites in this country care more about what Justin Trudeau has to say about Fidel Castro than what regular Albertans have to say about the carbon tax. So Fildebrandt sent a shot across the bow of the CBC for their dishonesty and smears against everyday Albertans who are just simply against a carbon tax. And CBC is so spiteful that as retaliation they used an out of context photo of Fildebrandt to make him look like a Nazi. Why don't they just Photoshop a little Hitler mustache onto him and go all in with their whole everyone I disagree with is Hitler meme. I mean, how gross are they down at the CBC? Fildebrandt was speaking at an event organized by my Jewish boss. Fildebrandt's never been an anti-Semite, so why are they calling Fildebrandt a Nazi? Because he's German or German looking and he doesn't like taxes. He's a conservative, so we must be a Nazi. This is such bigotry. It's the sort of argument you'd expect from a 13-year-old feminist. Everyone I don't like is a Nazi fascist and frog cartoons are racist tools of the patriarchy, okay? Now, CBC has edited the story without noting how or why or even when they edited it, but they edited it because people noticed just how gross that photo was and called them on it. I mean, how pathological do you have to be to imply a Nazi salute happened when it never did, in a crowded room with dozens of live streaming cameras as evidence of your lies. CBC is trying to send their bigotry and ridiculousness down the memory hole, but they can't. We caught them using their taxpayer-funded platform, your money, to exact their revenge against their critics, to propagandize against their enemies, and come to think of it, if I remember my history correctly, that does sound a little like something a Nazi might do. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm Sheila Gunreed. Have you heard about our big plan? We want to be bigger than the CBC. We want to be louder than their lies about everyday Albertans. Go to thebigplan.ca and find out how you can help us.